What's in my cup? This antidote I love. I'll never have enough. Keep on sipping till I'm drunk. Hummus, hummus, hummus. The mouth moving. Just be just happy. Okay, basically, as I'm getting ready for the last couple weeks, I've just put on a cognito biology, chemistry, or physics video. Just so as I'm getting ready, I'm also semi revising or like watching something rather than just listening to music. Let's talk about it in the morning. Cause I don't wanna think you're in the mood tonight. Whether we in the crib or if we step in outside, it's gonna always be a vibe. I'll be always getting. Okay, so the weather today kind of sucks, but I have tennis this morning from 9 till 10. So I'm gonna head there in a second. It's literally like a five minute walk away, which is beautiful. I also have such an annoying spot on my forehead, which isn't seeming to go away, but it's fine. I'm gonna chill there for today. Can I just get a takeaway oatmeal latte, please? You know what it is that you desire. Is this a company? Is it designer? Is it spending time or is it spending- Okay, so I just got myself an Omok latte from the coffee shop in my village. It's currently 10.20 a.m. It took like 10 minutes to walk back. And I'm gonna make myself some breakfast in a minute. Like in the morning, Cause I don't wanna think you're in the mood tonight. Whether we in the crib or if we sleeping outside. It's gonna always be a vibe. Be I'm gonna put one of these star face on top of this spot. Just to stop myself from picking at it because I know that'll make it worse. But today I need to get some revision done. My teacher said this to me the other day and I was like, oh my god, but GCSEs are in like 51 days, I think, or 50 days. So I just have under two months to basically revise. And I've been doing like half an hour here, half an hour there. On weekdays, just because I've been super busy at the moment, I've been using my little Flora app to grow some trees. But today I'm going to try to get a bit done. At the moment before Easter half term, I've just been focusing on subjects I'm weakest at. So if you can't tell by my A-level choices of bio, chem, maths and RS. I am more of a stem cell, stem cell, stem girl. So today I'm gonna start off with some English language revision. I'm planning on preparing a few English lit responses later on today. But yeah, as I said, I'm gonna be starting with English language cause English, not not the one. I also just wanted to introduce today's sponsor by sharing with you guys how good Pearson and Revise products are. So for my English language revision this morning, I'll be using the Revise and Excel English language revision guide by Pearson. So if you haven't heard me talk about Pearson before or you haven't heard of them, they are the world's leading learning company and have been around for over 170 years. So here in the UK, they provide revision books as well as digital resources for GCSEs, A-levels and BTECs. I'm currently doing my GCSEs and also all their resources are example specific. So for all my sciences, I have Edexcel and then different ones are different basically. But the resources include worked examples and practice questions so you know exactly how to answer the question with the correct exam technique. So I use this English revision guide to recap just key knowledge and also follow along and look at some like worked examples. Also the layout of the revision books and the course online is so, so like aesthetic and nice and easy to follow as well so I don't get too confused, which makes me want to revise more. And if you're who prefers to work on a laptop or online. Pearson also offer an ebook subscription, which is literally only $19.99 a year. And that gives you access to over 50 GCSE books all online. Pearson's revision guides literally saved me during my mocks. And so far for my revision for GCSEs, they have also been amazing. I honestly couldn't recommend their stuff more. You can click the link in the description to shop Pearson revision guides, workbooks, past papers. And you can also click on the link to check out Pearson's online revision tools. Because honestly, they've been such a 
lifesaver. And I'm gonna stop waffling about how good they are and get into some English revision. Alexa, connect to my iPad. Okay, so I've just finished 15 minutes of English revision. I'm gonna take a quick break from revision and I wanna film a little haul for you guys for my TikTok from Subdued. Basically, Subdued sent me some of their pre release exclusives and I like promote them before they are released from the website and on their socials. So I'm gonna film a little TikTok for that. Okay, you guys can go on my TikTok to see a full haul of what Subdued sent me. But I just put on this hoodie. It's literally the cutest thing. It says, not available today on the front. And then on the back it says, my face is not available today. It's so, so cute. The stuff they sent me is so pretty. I'm literally in love. I'm going to go on to do another 50 minute block of revision. This little study sesh is going to be geography. I'm going to revise the topic, changing economic world. I definitely prefer human geography over physical geography. Like, 10 times more so i'm gonna be doing that i always have a bunch of like job refolders that i need to sort out because they're super messy right now so yeah Trains keep running, hearts keep breaking. i keep writing songs about things that are out of my control but i pretend they're not and then wonder why the outcome's not what I planned for Oh, cause lately I tend to answer with maybe It's dumb it and then seems so scary And I miss just being bored Okay, so I've decided making a case study, like, document on Word and it's economic development leading to social, environmental and cultural change. But I'm gonna finish this up and then go make some lunch. The weather's just decided to be so nice. All of a sudden, like the sky is so blue now and it's sunny. But tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. is my meet time. I have a cheer comp in Nottingham, which is like four hours away from my house. As you just saw, I just packed because I'm staying in Nottingham overnight tonight. I'm staying with like my cheer group, so be. Okay, my SD card just ran out, so here we are. But yeah, that's basically what's happening now. It's currently 4 p.m. and hopefully the journey there isn't too bad. There's too much on my face. It's fun, honestly. It's fun. <laughs> All you can see is food everywhere and everyone is eating. <laughs> I'm just hungry, man. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I got five seconds. Five seconds? Four, three, two, one. Woo! Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> We made it to Nottingham and we are walking to get some food out of Mexican, I think. My friends are going to have coffee this morning. Wait, where are we at? What's it called? Our barberito. Our barberito. Our barberito. So I'll take the pills that you feed me, I promise. 
Go we just been upgraded to this beautiful. What's this room called? Bridal suite. We're we're in the bridal suite. <laughs> Even got the Dyson fan. Right, basically, stayed in an Airbnb, and we just hear like ding ding, and then guys at the window like bang bang bang. We were like. Yeah, and he's like, get out of my house! Phil walks down the road, calls the police. Me and Molly go upstairs, because we're like, uh-uh. Yeah. He puts his key in the door and unlocks it. the door. Okay, it's literally like 10.30, but I'm so tired for like no reason. I just feel exhausted. And we've got a super early start tomorrow morning as well. We've got to meet at the arena at 7.30 and be like fully ready. So I'm gonna have a shower, um, wash my face and go to bed. Hummus, hummus, hummus. <laughs> <laughs> the mouth move was really satisfying. Hummus, hummus, hummus. Oh, <laughs> my